<laughs> Radio Rebel. Yeah. Oh, all right, guys. We are very excited to do this. We are reacting to Joe's wife. It's, yeah. Everyone says it looks like Josh Dunn. I don't see it, but... I guess you can say you're Josh Dunn with it. Dude, you are so funny. By the way, guys, uh, we have our Patreon, Discord, Instagram, and our and our Twitters in the bio. Go check them out. Let's play this movie. Yeah. I dare you. Okay, last night, Radio Rebel was awesome, as usual. God, oh, oh it's already no. bad. It's oh, already no. bad. I wish I could be more like her. You should talk to your stepdad. What? Stepdad. Uh, he's <laughs> Just the word made me laugh. Ready to rebel? More like rebel. You're fucking her dad. <laughs> Police! I would hardly describe myself. Dude, this guy's wearing plaid on stripes. I fuck with him. With the baby wipes? Oh, the bars! He's ahead of his time. Oh my gosh. He's our only hope to the vaccine. Or her? Or that girl? That girl? No, no, that girl's too tall. Radio Rebel's voice sounds like five foot six to me. As if you can tell how tall people are with their voice. Yeah, you can. Tall people talk like this. But short people, they talk like this! Gosh, that was This is the most annoying thing we've ever done. We think... Wait, what do we think? That maybe she's Radio Rebel. Please. But she's like the tallest girl, and then you just said the girl's too tall to be Radio Rebel, and she's like six two. Yeah, that's a fair. That's a good. That's a fair. That's a good point. The script sucks. Audrey was trying to get me to listen to some podcasting class. Of course, I said no. What? No. I mean, I never. You know that there's an anti-destruction policy. What the fuck is this what? acting? This is so weird. I wasn't even listening to it. Oh no, you can't, can you? You're too young, lady. Greetings to our loyal fans. This is Gabe and Gavin. Everyone says I look like that kid. I look nothing like him. I've gotten on like 20 times. You do not look like that guy. Cheese for life. Cheese for life. Ow! I know you did me! Wait, what? Look, 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 look. Cheese for life. Oh! Yo, cheese for life? G. Oh! First try. Gavin, the scene is free. Gavin? Gavin? Gavin. Will he dance? To write a scene suggestion on the book. <laughs> oh! <laughs> this girl's fucking hilarious. Hey, theater kids, am I right? <laughs> I wish I had people like this in high school. She's so funny. Hands, hands, hands. Tara! So that horror, that horror music went. <laughs> I'm a little sunburned from work tour. <laughs> My God, pierce the veil. <laughs> oh, who does that? Bro, your wife is weird. <laughs> She's not my fucking wife, dude. I don't like anything like Josh Dunn. Look at this. Tammy Q called me. She told me I had to check out this new podcast girl. She's she's really something special. This isn't realistic at all. No one no one is like, you babe check this podcast. We're always juggling a bunch of different news. Like when you're with your friends. Literally no one will ever get this hype for a radio show. I'm just saying, dude. Hey. Bob. Hey stepdad. <laughs> we're hanging out and we're, we're, we're listening to Radio Rebel and he looks like Josh Brolin. Is he Thanos too? Thandos. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? I don't, what does that even mean? Thanos too. Thandos. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you go? And that rounds off the final set. The final gem. <laughs> oh no. Your radio rep. Your radio rep. Your radio rep. He's so stiff. He's like, I stream your shit every day. But she's not. I don't know. No. She's like, I don't know. Hey. 
Look at her, she's so introverted. She has her hand. Hey, Gavin. Like, oh my god, don't talk to me. Hey, Gavin. Uh -huh. Gavin, are you new here? If you like you first, you should check out. It looks like a big mouth character. But without a big mouth. That, that would, what, how does that make him a big mouth character then? Just his eyes kind of bulging. Dude, what is the sky? Why is it being holy shit? Is this cloudy with the chance of meat and bugs? Or we could mime the lines if you're not feeling particularly talky. Mime talky. Wait, so Gavin likes her? Why? I, I just think Gavin wants to dance. <laughs> <laughs> right over this shirt. I want radio rebel ads in every major social network. Ask the social you. network? <gasps> Marcus Zuck pulls up. Your face will on Instagram today. <laughs> this is my favorite one so far. So far. Nice, nice job, job team. team. <laughs> <laughs> we met at the same Christmas party. Girl, when Rob told me you were radio rebel, this was my face. What? How much more of this movie we got? I don't know. I don't want to. I just can't wait to see what you got going for the. Are you okay? I can't even speak to Gavin without freezing. Come out where I can see you. Oh, what is this scene? That's fucking horrifying, dude. Like, <laughs> say like this, she went. <laughs> oh, get out of the stop. Oh, no, 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 no. Bad practice, bad practice. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> I hold up, let me fix this shit. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. You gave her one op like one chance and she messed everything up and you're like, alright, you're going live in 10. It's ta it's, it's it's performing under pressure. You're listening to Slam F down. Is the radio rebel How does she show? know how to work it? This is oh. But life is all about change, right? Maybe some people just want to label you as one thing. Compartmentalize. No wonder Disney actors stuff. always turn to drugs after these. Yeah, they they have to take them during the shoot. It's called method acting. It's called method acting. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. It's everyone carnations on Valentine's Day, just so no one. I like that girl. Smelling the flowers, listening to music. Talk about a vibe. Could have been me. I have allergies. Or it could be if you take allergy medicine. Uh, what happened to your mystery plans? Can you guys tell us apart? You guys are fraternal, not identical. Oh, they're twins. They're frat boys? Fraternal boys? <laughs> I won't tell anyone, I swear. You can say it. <clears throat> she gonna throw up? What the heck? <laughs> I wanna say something. <laughs> Tara, your character has a crush on Gavin's character, but she's hiding from the law or whatever, so she's disguised as a guy. What was this shot in? Like 500 frames a second, dude? I feel like I'm watching slow mo guys. I feel like I'm playing the game, the movie. Let's do the end again. <laughs> no, dude, you're up here like, yeah. He's on my left. He's on my left. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 are you genuinely like laughing at the joke? I can't tell if you're roasting my ass or you actually thought it was I'm, funny. I'm laughing at how bad it was. <laughs> okay, I sick. That's the tragic part. This is frame. Yeah, this is the most bad frame. <laughs> What's she waiting for? They're acting. This is this. Oh, is my <laughs> I, was so I know. Invested. I was. I was. I was in there for a <laughs> second. Like, there's no way this girl is this awkward and then just like kisses Gavin like it's her day job. Us falling for each other, even though we don't know it yet, and okay. and blocking like this feels weird, right? Right. Exactly. Just like no, you, you know, just kiss me. Fine. So we should like feel each other. We should get physical in this bitch. <laughs> oh. oh God. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. That's how. That's probably something she would do, though. Okay. For being honest, she's kind of anti, not sure. very good social. Oh. Anti, not very good social. <laughs> Aaron Craft, 2020. Good job. Okay. <laughs> Here's a new song.
song about uh, trying things you never thought you could. How many mics does she need? Holy balls. I'm to do a bunch of new things lately. And this one? <laughs> Check it out. Vibe it. Really, really dig on it. And then, remember that feeling. Remember that feeling. <laughs> Yikes. Gavin's dancing, bro. Wait, 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 wait. Even when she's dancing, she was like. You're listening to Slam FM. You're listening to Slam FM. How's the owl good? Which means the ratings must be up. You're famous. No. Me when I get a follower on Instagram? <laughs> Me when I get five likes on Twitter within ten hours? <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> You're wrong, Craig. But I love it. I love it, damn it. God damn it, this is America! Hey! If you're wondering why I'm here with this awkward cut, it's because this video was originally 22 minutes long, but when I tried to post it to YouTube, it got copyrighted. But for some reason, when I split the videos up, if I post like the first 11 minutes and the other 11 minutes, it doesn't get copyrighted. All right, since my dumbass sucks at talking, what I'm trying to say is I have to split the Radio Rebel video into two parts. Part two will be dropping Tuesday, but through the rest of this video, I do talk about mental health and also life advice that's helped me personally. So, so if you want to hear some advice or just some stuff that has helped me through quarantine and all this, feel free to stick around for the rest of the video. So something I've been wanting to do for a while is make a video on um, mental health advice and just life advice in general of shit I've learned um, in the past year that's really helped me like better myself and just feel better about myself. I do want to put a disclaimer and say everyone's different. There is a chance that this, the, like the stuff I'm about to say um, might help a lot of people, but maybe some people uh, my advice won't really help. Um, so I do want to say this is not like guaranteed going to solve your problems, but I'm just speaking from personal advice. I'm just going to say the shit that's helped me and hopefully it can help you guys. So the most important thing I've learned in the past year is like self-love. I think we just have like the natural like habit of talking down on ourselves when we do something like like when we like fuck up or do something stupid. We always like talk shit on ourselves. But whenever we do something cool or actually good, we never really like congratulate ourselves or allow ourselves to be proud of ourselves. Like there, there's a line between being proud of yourself and being egotistical. And if you do something good, if you do, if you do something just like genuine, um, like be proud of yourself. Like don't be, don't be afraid to like talk yourself up. Stuff that's really helped me, just doing something productive every single day. Literally the last year, every single day I've done something productive. Even if it was little, even if it was like, even if it was like a five minute task, I still did something productive. Before like I was doing like YouTube like I am right now, um, I was like pursuing film and so I would go on YouTube and educate myself on movies That's something productive because if I ever do get a job in the movie industry now I know you know because I educated myself instead of scrolling through Twitter all day Instagram all day I, I was educating myself and I was watching like YouTube videos like it's not like I'm reading from a textbook textbooks fucking suck You need to do something like you need you need to do something You're never gonna be proud of yourself. You're never gonna love yourself if you're sitting on your bed all day or sitting binging Netflix all day. You're just doing whatever you feel like. Like you need to get out of your comfort zone. You need to get out of that bum stage and do something. Like I remember in 11th grade, I was a fucking bum. Like I would do nothing but like play video games and watch YouTube videos. So literally all I would do, literally all I would do. I was not, I, I, I wasn't proud of myself at all. Like I, I, there was nothing to be proud of. You gotta, you gotta put shit out there to even make it possible to be proud of. I, like I was doing YouTube through high school but in 11th grade, I did stop posting videos for a good like three months and those three months sucked because I was doing nothing for myself. It doesn't even have to be like, oh, I'm too lazy to do it. Like literally just get inspired. Like if you, I swear, if you watch like drawing Mickey Mouse, drawing tutorial, and if you watch it and it's actually entertaining, you're going to want you now all of a sudden you feel like watching it. Like all of a sudden you feel like drawing Mickey Mouse. Like we get, like, it's really easy to get inspired by just watching someone else do something. You know what I'm saying? I watched like the Arnold Schwarzenegger documentary of him, like of pumping iron. All of a sudden I was like, I'm going to go lift some weights. Another thing that um, really helped me is you need to take initiative and you need to stop. You need to stop letting your anxiety win all the time. For example, I get, I'm just going to use like the most universal example. Um, 
you like someone, you think someone's cute, you want to approach them and be like, I think you're cute, can I have your number, or can we go out sometime, is like something we can all relate to. But a lot of us bail out because because we build it up in our head so much. Like, what if I trip? What if, what if like, like everyone's like afraid of reject- rejection or something like embarrassing happening? When in reality, like, all you're doing is approaching them and asking them, like, I think you're cute. Can I have your number? The result is just yes or no. But we build it up in our head as that is, is, is like the end of the world. Like me and Joe did a video on a movie called Emo the Musical. And I hit up the actress kind of as like a joke and being like, oh, we should collab. And she actually said yes. And then I was like, oh, fuck. Like, we're going to do a video with this girl. I was like, oh, shit. Do I actually want to do this? Like, what if it's hella awkward and hella weird? And then I started like building up this wall of doubt. But in reality, like, like I went and it went perfectly fine. It was a great video. One of my favorite videos. And so you're never going to see the result if you always pussy out. And the result is never as bad as that wall of doubt you build up. Let's say I do think a girl over there is cute. I go up to her and I say, I think you're cute. Can I have her number? When I ask, like, can I have her number or whatever? Like, I get, I get the result. I get yes or no. If I never do it, I go home regretting that decision because I don't know if I'll ever see that girl again. And on top of that, that possibility of her saying yes, like, is going to kill you. That wall of doubt of you, like, pussing out on an opportunity is always going to kill you more than than the result. If I get rejected by her, I'm going to get over it in, like, a couple days or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But if I don't end up even approaching her, that is going to kill me. For, like for a long ass time because I didn't I didn't even know the result so you guys need to execute on those like important opportunity or like just those opportunities where yeah it, it could be scary and a lot can go wrong but if a lot of success can come from it like take that chance like you need to go you need to stop being a pussy like literally you just got to do it every time I've done that every time I've had those situations where I build up a wall of doubt but I end up doing it anyway has always been satisfying has always paid off every time so far for me has been worth it every time I've taken that chance it's always been worth it if you always keep letting that wall like that wall of doubt win you're never gonna have you're you're never gonna enjoy a bunch of shit in life the reason why that correlates to self-love is because once you overcome that wall of doubt you're proud of yourself. Whether that girl said yes or no, you're proud of yourself that you overcame that wall of doubt. The last thing that's really helped me with self-love is uh, doing shit for other people. If your coworker needs a drive home, go drive them home, like just for the sake of being nice. You need to start doing stuff for people even if you don't get results back because it just makes you feel good. Even if you don't believe that karma is real, just pretend it is. If you're like walking through a store right now, someone drops a $20 bill, you pick it up, and you have the option to keep it but the right thing to do is probably just give it back to them because it's fucking stealing so pick up the 20 dollar bill get be like oh excuse me you dropped this like oh my gosh thank you and then like they put it in their pocket and then all of a sudden two days later something good's gonna happen to you you're gonna get a call from president obama and he's gonna want to like have coffee with you okay i'm sorry that was so random like every time i would like just do something little that was like pretty nice like I, something always good has happened to me. It does return somehow in some in some way. Hopefully, I explain stuff well. I usually never talk about this sort of shit, so I'm really sorry if this was really messy. I have more stuff written down here, but I'm taking way too long. But another some uh, something else that I'm really like I really want to express is save your money. Put ninety percent of your check into your savings. I promise you, it's it's like the one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. Think of anything you buy as an investment. Is this going to last me a long time or not? A lot of people buy shit nowadays that doesn't even last them. Like people be buying desserts. People be buying cupcakes. Like $4 for a cupcake. Once again, I'm sorry. I'm not like a professional or anything. I'm speaking out of uh, personal experience. I really hope I explain everything well. Because um, I really do want, I, I really do want the best for you guys. And I know that um, mental health right now is like fucking like like so relevant right now because the quarantine is like just screwing everybody up um so i did want to make this um and tell like uh stuff that's helped me once again i'm sorry if you do try this stuff and it doesn't work but the fact that you're gonna try it is gonna make you feel good try stuff guys do shit just do something be nice to people it's what i've been doing the past year and um, I feel I feel better than ever.
This is probably the happiest I've been in my life. Thanks for listening. Part two is dropping on Tuesday. Um, I love you guys. And uh, peace out.